Hello in this video I will show how to create simple horizontal menu by using HTML CSS with jQuery. By adding drop down feature to the menu, we can make our menu area clean by controlling the display of main and sub menu list. This is my HTML page. In this I have used jQuery JavaScript library for creating menu using jQuery. Friends first I have right one division tag with class name wrapper and close division tag. Between this class I have right on a non order list tag with class name nav and close on order list tag. Between the sun order list tag I have write three list tag with anchor tag with hash link. I have write three list tag with text home, services and about us. Now in between service list tag I have again write one open and close on order list tag and between this tag I have a three list tag with anchor tag with hash link. I have add three list item like a consulting, sales and support. After this I have moved to about us list item and between this list tag I have again add one more open and close on order list tag and between this tag I have again add three list item like company, mission and contact information with anchor tag with hash link. Now friends I have saved this HTML code and check out what in browser. Now I have set the CSS property of one by one all required tag and class. First I have set the CSS property of body tag. CSS property of this tag will affect a whole page. And have set body color with hash triple three. With this whole body text color will be blank and I want to set the Arial font to whole page. So I have right font family set to Arial. So this way I have set whole page font to Arial. After this I have moved to set the property of wrapper class. In wrapper class I have write width with 540 pixel and margin with 0 auto. By writing this property wrapper class width will be 540 and with help of margin 0 width auto, wrapper class will be moved to center of the page. Now friends I have moved to set the CSS property of nav class. In this class I have write menu and sub menu. In this I have write set margin 0 padding 0 and list style with none property. By writing this property this will remove margin and padding and set remove default list style. Now friends I want to set the CSS property of list item which in nav class. So I have write nav class with list tag. In this first I have write float left. This property will set the element float to the left. And after this I want to set the width of list item so I have write width with 180 pixel and lastly I have write position relative. This property will the element is positioned relative to its normal position. Now I want to set the property of anchor tag which is in list tag and this list tag in nav class. So I have write nav class with list tag with anchor tag. Whichever CSS property right under this will set the anchor tag. First I want to set the background color of anchor tag. So I have write background with hash triple three. After this I want to set the color of anchor tag to white. So I have write color property with white color. After this I have write display block. This property displays an element as a block element. 
Now I want to set the space around this anchor tag, so I have right padding with 12 pixel and 16 pixel. Here 12 pixel which set the top and bottom padding and 16 pixel which set the left and right padding. I want to remove the anchor tag decoration so I have right text decoration to none. This property will remove the decoration from anchor tag. Lastly I want to make top border on anchor tag, so I have right border top with border with 1 pixel, border style with solid and border color with hash 069. I want to change the color of anchor tag when mouse over the text so I have right nav class with lead tag with anchor tag with hover property and in this I have right color property with hash 069. So when mouse over the anchor tag color will be change. Now I have moved the sub menu item. Sub menu is right under an order list which is under nav class. So I have right nav class with the an order list tag. First I want to hide the sub menu item, so I have right display none. By writing this property an order list item will be hide. This will only visible when mouse over the main list tag like services or about us. Now friends I have moved to jQuery code part, jQuery code right under script tag so I have right open and close script tag and between this tag I have right dollar document dot ready method with one anonymous function. Under this function I will write jQuery code. When mouse on list tag then sub menu must be visible and when mouse left the list tag sub menu must be hide. So I have right dollar with selector like nav class with list tag with hover method with anonymous function. This method triggers both the mouse enter and mouse leave events. In this I have right dollar with selector an order list and this with fade toggle method. Here selector an order list, in which I have right sub menu item like consulting, sales, support, company, mission and contact information and this selector means it will display only that an order list item on which mouse is over. This methods toggles between this fade in and fade out methods. If the elements are faded out, fade toggle method will fade them in and if the elements are faded in. Fade toggle method will fade them out and lastly I have saved this code and show in browser. Suppose I want to remove this dot style, so I have simply go to CSS property and write list style none. This will remove dot from sub menu. Now I want to display sub menu completely below the main menu, so I have right padding property to zero. So, friends this is my video tutorial on how to create horizontal menu using CSS and jQuery. If you like this video please share this video with your friends and you can also share on social media. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.